Hi, uh, this is the uh, video on explaining this paper. Uh, it's a quick explanation. So this paper is about PPT, which stands for pre-trained prompt tuning for few short learning. So the idea behind this paper is that usually the soft prompts are not pre-trained. They are uh, fine-tuned over downstream tasks. So in this uh, paper, they are pre-training the soft prompts. So, and the reason why they are doing it is because usually when we have a lot of data, the uh, when we have a lot of data, then the prompt tunings uh, performs comparably with the fine tuning. But when there's a few short setting, the prompt tuning underperforms and they experimented so the paper has two parts one is pilot experiments where they try to find what maybe the reasons why prompt tuning underperforms and the second part is where they actually pre-trained soft prompts so the pilot experiments that's the part one of the paper serves the basis for the part two so so what pilot experiments they did so uh, they did it under three strategies one is to understand the impact of hard prompts uh, on prompt tuning under few short setting second is choice of verbalizer so this is uh, hard prompt tuning verbalizer se selection and soft prompt initialization so the first thing is they tried hard prompts. So they are manually designed and some are generated. P stands for the prompt tokens, which is 100, 100 in number. Uh, S is the input uh, sentence, and this is the hard prompt. So what they tried was different types of uh, hard prompts, and they found that there is some variation in that. Um, and they also get very high performance in all of the three. It, actually outperforms uh, none when we don't have uh, soft or hard prompts and next if if we, if they when they found the best one they fixed it and found different verbalizers and the variation was a lot so from this they concluded that the choice of hard prompts and verbalizer has a significant influence on model performance the third point is on initialization so if this one is when the soft prompts are initialized randomly or using label uh, embeddings in this one uh, sample uh, vocab sampling is uh, randomly sampled words from the entire vocabulary so there are different ways they are sampling it but uh, these are tested on earlier these were tested on small uh, language models and they found it they found to be effective but for large models like t5 xsl uh, with uh, 11 billion parameters they found to be less impactful so um, I mean that's one of the reasons why they designed uh, this method PPT uh, because uh, there is some problem with the initialization of the prompts soft prompts so this this was the first part of the paper uh, so what they found was there are three things uh, hybrid prompts verbalizer and initialization so in pre-trained prompt tuning what they are doing is uh, they have a bunch of downstream tasks they group that those tasks into groups based on that if they are similar to each other they will be in a one group and for each group they will define a pattern verbalizer pair and use that uh, pvp along with NSP next sentence prediction objective and the data set from the original paper Devlin 2019 uh, to train the soft prompts and once the soft prompts are ready uh, after pre-training for each task we continue to optimize um, this equation to using PI as the initialization of soft prompts so, so once they are pre-trained uh, that soft prompt is going to be used for the downstream task. So uh, now the question is like how they design these PVPs and how they're training it. So 
here they are using um, three types of uh, three types of groups one is sentence pair classification multiple choice classification and single sentence classification so in sentence pair we have a sentence pair and the uh, target is some uh, whether it is uh, next sentence or not uh, so to design a pvp for these tasks we extend the next sentence prediction in devlin to a three class classification with label 0 1 2 so what 0 1 2 represents so uh, if two sentence is to construct signal from unlabeled document we set the two sentence next to each other as label 2 those from the same documents but not true next um, so they have labels they have input and they define the pattern and verbalizer like this sentence one then there is a mask and there is sentence two and these are the labels for multiple choice they have question and answer label and answer choice and the answer is the mask and these are these are the labels for single sentence classification again they have some verbalizer and uh, a pattern and a verbalizer and so here they have for each group they have one pvp in unifying task uh, task format all of the all of the tasks will be uh, converted into a multiple choice classification okay and they will have only one pvp so here is um, they, they evaluated this prompt pre-trained soft prompts on english and chinese data set so here what this means is they are evaluating on sst2 data set and the soft prompts are trained on ssc uh, format so what ssc stands for single sentence classification so for each data set we have some format pvp format on which the soft prompts are trained on okay so what the results are so these are fine tuning these are for english data sets and this is for chinese um so for fine tuning data sets uh obviously they, they found that the large model performs better and for prompt tuning they have this vanilla vanilla prompt tuning versus ppt uh, P versus PPD. So if you see here, from it, there's a huge jump from 70 to 93, 32 to 50. I mean, the the results are strong, and also the variation, like it's for 15.5, it goes to 0.3. So in all of the results, the variation is reduced a lot, and also like um, uh, the. Also for the unified, uh, also it's it's when they just use one PVP for the entire task, for all of the task, it has some good performance on some of the data sets. So uh, that's all about this paper. Um, so overall, the paper has two parts. One is pilot studies where they found uh, that prompt tuning under few short settings depends on hybrid prompts, verbalizer, and initialization. So one way to initialize soft prompts is to pre-train them, and they used three. Uh, they used uh, a set of uh, PVPs to pre-train the soft prompts, and then they uh, find it fine-tune it on the downstream task and they found it to be uh, very uh, they found very strong results on that so thank you